Hello, my name is Teresa and I go to Palo Alto High School. This is my interactive pet planter. Um, okay, thanks. I chose it because I'm interested in biology, you know, and I like the design of this planter. Anyway, here is the demo that I have today. Uh, you can see here that there's a screen and it has an interface on it and there's a speaker that's connected to the uh, to this Pi Portal thing, which will play the sound. This thing usually will have a like a roof on top of it to keep the Pi Portal inside, but for convenience purposes, it is uh, emitted at this moment. There's a sensor on the inside of this planter that uh, it captures the moisture and temperature levels. So for the reading, it goes from 350 to 500. Although technically it can capture 200 to 2000, those were the values that are encoded into the software. Now, let me demonstrate how it works. So we can get it running right now. It takes a little bit of time to connect, but basically what is happening is if you add some sort of moisture force like water into the sensor, it will play an animation of water going up the screen. So let me see. So as you can hear, it makes a warning sound when the moisture is too low. And then when you add the uh, source of moisture onto the sensor, it should play an animation and a sound. Yeah, there's the high moisture warning level. So this code, it runs on CircuitPython, which is basically a kind of Python. And most of it is kind of setting up the interface. So for example, this image, these icons with the temperature and moisture, uh, as well as just, okay. Just in general, there's a bunch of libraries that need to be imported in order to make it work because each library has like different assets. So for example, the graphics and the sounds, those are all in different libraries which needed to be imported into code.py. Uh, and the way that the, <laughs> sorry, I can't turn it off. The way that the animation works is that there's different uh, variables, like for example, fill valve stands for fill value, which is like how much like moisture there is. And then there's also a fill percentage, like how much of it is filled. And if the percentage is higher than the value, then that means that the it needs to go up, right? So then the like, pixels of blue, which represent the water, will go up on the screen, and it'll go vice versa for the opposite direction. And as you can hear, when the moisture level goes above the maximum or below the minimum, it will play that warning sound and it also prints a message to the console, which I know you can't see, but it is printing on the console. Uh, now, as for the different challenges I faced, there were actually a lot of challenges. For example, I had trouble like setting up this thing at first. I had to switch between this Pi portal and a different one uh, because there was an issue with MPY where uh, the file was outdated and unfortunately it's hard to say what caused that error exactly but after trying a lot of times I managed to set this one up properly and import the libraries with no issue and I think for the next milestone I will be setting up the data so that it can be visualized on uh, the internet so you can see how the data is being displayed in real time.